<laughs> we are live on the air. It's Omni Bros live on a Monday night. On my left, we have from Comics Guide 101, Lou Rodrigue. Hello, hello, good. We have from Gabe Infinity Watch, the fabulous Gabe the Babe. Gabe, how's it going? I'm doing great. What's up, everybody? Shout out to the chat for everybody coming in and making fun of John P's last name. That's always great. From near mint condition, Omar. Omar, how's it going, buddy? It's going good, man. Uh, <laughs> it's going good. And then last but certainly not least, from his YouTube channel, Riley Mo, the omnibus collector himself, Riley Moore. How's it hanging, big guy? Are you sure I'm not least? You're never least. You're the okay. hostess with the mostest. You're the hostess. No, that's right. I'm the hostess. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Yeah, and it's got it's so great because it's got so many different interpretations. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh. just spilled coke all over my keyboard. <laughs> Fucking Nemo. Hey, hey, I. I regret nothing. <laughs> I know you don't. You ended up with the cat dog and I didn't. Oh, the uh, felt one? The flocked cat dog. Somebody found one today and Gio spoke up for it first. What's going on, guys? Uh, I'm in my backyard barbecue grilling. <laughs> 110 degree heat again. Yeah, I'm just going to hang out over here for right now. Ooh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the world! Well, how's everybody me. doing? <laughs> it's me! Oh, that is wow! <laughs> Google Herbie Popnecker right now. Jess, this sounds like a porn name. Or something <laughs> really racist. I'm working with you right now. <laughs> Why does he have a samurai sword? Or like a, what is this? I know, <laughs> this looks awesome. He's flying on a parrot. He's got magic lollipops. This I'm strangely <laughs> intrigued by it. <laughs> Me too. You picked up the damage copy? I did. Oh, 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 oh somebody's gonna be <laughs> That's so That's why mad. I was so quiet, it's I was bummed. Oh, they just <laughs> updated. <laughs> Are you tired of getting banged up books that are not half off and are kind of price gouging with lousy customer service? Are you tired of that? You know I am. Well, let me tell you, I got a place for you to go. Up to 50% off collected editions, bomb proof packaging, order over $50, you get free shipping within the United States, loyalty discounts, and the best customer service ever. That place I'm talking about is InStockTrades.com. Our sponsor, we love InStockTrades, also known as IST. Oh, oh, getting ready oh. to knock back the hard stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax. This is the moment you've been waiting for. It's gonna take a while. Pull up a oh. chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that clanking sound. <laughs> oh, whoa! That was a big gulp. So I finished Civil War. <laughs> Civil <laughs> War 2. <laughs> Get another oh, whoa! Yeah, you're gonna need it, buddy. Get Slugging another one. it back. What's going on, Bendis? <laughs> and by the last issue, you know, you're, you see everything come together, and nothing was wasted. No page was wasted. Every storyline comes together and melds into this beautiful emanation of storytelling at the end and see everything that you love from every comic universe all of a sudden shoved together in one ball and made into a single story. And that, I think, is the genius behind uh, Warren Ellis. If you're not a Black Panther like aficionado and you just saw the movie, or if you're just interested in kind of getting familiar with the character, this is absolutely the perfect, like, uh, ground floor starting point for anybody who's interested in Black Panther. Uh, it was a much easier flowing experience for me. It's just I was able to read it and enjoy it and it just went from one thing to another and I didn't 
just everything that was wrong in my opinion with the priest book was everything that was right in the Hudlin book. So you guys, okay, uh, how do I word this without insulting you two? <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't like smart books. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think it, it takes, it goes away from the problems that a lot of people have when they're trying to read Kelly's Deadpool now. And no, his writing is sharp. It's really, really fucking sharp. And the references he makes, oftentimes they're very modern, they're very hilarious, and they work within the context of the story. What type of rating system are we using? No, if I had to rate it on a scale of uh, bad movies to good movies, so on a scale of Boondock Saint being the worst and The Matrix being the best, <laughs> I would rate this book uh, Back to the Future. And so we will end tonight's show. Peace and love. Peace and love. Good night, everybody. Thanks for everybody showing up in the chat and having fun with us. This says live, so let's see. Okay, we are not <laughs> appearing on the YouTube channel. Uh-oh. Did we get everybody right, the wrong so we are live. Um Let's see. We're not appearing on the proper YouTube channel, so we're in a different chat. I so see eleven waiting. The link. See these eleven. How many YouTube? How many YouTube? How many YouTube's links that you create, Jess? <laughs> like nine. <laughs>